Hi, I'm Mike Salisbury and welcome to this series in which I'll be taking you through the Catran range of products and my favourite ones from that range. I mean, Catran is probably not a name that you've heard of that much in the UK as they are German based, but I've been using the products for some time now and I can definitely recommend them as they're all excellent and very reliable. In this video, what I'm going to be showing you is my feeder setup using the Catran Synapse Feeder Fishing Line. I've got a basic feeder set up here, uh, which is fairly robust because I'm going to be targeting carp primarily. And uh, I've got a Daiwa carp feeder rod, 11 foot, a Rovex Nitrium feeder reel. And I've loaded that with some of the Catran Synapse feeder in the nine pound braking strain. Terminal tackle wise, I'm going for a small 30 gram method feeder. Uh, I've been using some of the uh, Catran Karakurt hook length for my hook lengths that I make for method feeder fishing, just stripping back the coating down to a very small size 10 hook with a pellet band to which I'm going to attach a 10 mil pellet and that will go into the mix. Okay then as I do in a typical match situation on the method feeder I'm fishing two lines, I'm fishing one long line so we'll be able to show you the casting properties of the line and I'm also fishing one shorter line down to the lily pads. Both areas that I'm fishing are quite snaggy and obviously the fish once they're hooked try to dive straight in there so you do have to be quite robust with them. So hopefully once we hook a few fish we'll be able to show you the power of this line in steering away hard fighting carp from snags. Let's get this loaded up and out there. See the fish is trying to dive straight in that snag so I'm having to really put some pressure on it so it can't get in there and as it's a pre-stretched mono there's very little room for manoeuvre for them so that they can't really give you too much grief in terms of uh, diving into snags when you're fishing with mono. And that one I was able to pull away from the snag pretty easily giving it a bit of pressure and uh, as always the lines held firm it's almost like you're using a braid because there's very little stretch in it but then you've also got the properties of uh, a mono that's very low diameter which makes it very very strong and very easy to cast as well so really, you, you've got the best of both worlds with the, uh, the Synapse feeder line. Got a nice little mirror on here. And he's in. There we go, first fish. Didn't take very long at all. And uh, as I said, tried to dive for the pads there and was easily able to coax it away. Let's put this one back. Okay, I'm now fishing an area where a slightly longer cast is required. So we're gonna pop it over there and show you how easy it is to cast with this Synapse feeder line. So there we go, fairly minimal effort there and we've reached the target area, no trouble at all. Okay, we've uh, just connected with a very angry carp on the long line it dived straight for the weed bed which uh, it goes from the bottom to the surface and it's pretty savage stuff if you get in there so really you have to uh, you have to kind of show no mercy and try and steer them away from there as robustly as you can and uh, obviously with the strength of this synapse feeder line no problem at all and I've got it 
out in front of me now. Just plodding around. Looks like quite a nice common, this one. Oh, just about got him in that net. Oh, that's cracking. I think we should uh, probably have a look at this one on the unhooking mat. Well, here we go. What a cracking fish to catch on the feeder. Pristine common carp. Lovely stuff. Managed to steer it away from those snags, no problem. And here it is. Brilliant. Let's put this one back. So there we go, done some feeder fishing with the Synapse feeder line, had some great results. No problem steering away, hard fighting carp from snags and no problem casting. So it's definitely a line that I'd recommend that you use for your feeder fishing, particularly for carp matches. Cheers for watching, see you next time.